I haven't had a computer of my own that ran Microsoft Windows since around 2008, so none of my personal machines have ran Windows really since the XP days. Windows XP was actually the last version of Windows that I used. I skipped out on Vista and 7 and 8 and 10, but now Windows 11 is coming out and a lot of you guys are really excited about it and you guys are asking me my thoughts and I really haven't been following the news that closely, so today I wanted to take a couple of minutes to watch the Windows 11 trailer that Microsoft recently put out. It's only like a two to three minute video. I'm going to watch that trailer and give my reaction to Windows 11. So let me go ahead and start the video. I'm not going to play the audio here, but I will say this opening splash screen animation of the Windows logo looks really cool. Is that going to be the splash screen on Windows 11 or is this just for the video? Whoever made this video though, maybe got some really serious skills here. Man, I love that that logo, that Windows logo looks so good. That's much better than our Linux logos. And we've got all these icons. Where are they going? They're falling into the sys tray on the panel on the test bar here. Wow, and the icons. we got the start menu icon. It's sliding to the center. You're kidding me. <laughs> That's what I've always wanted was a centered task bar, centered start menu. And we've got animated wallpaper. No way. It's like, it's like mobile phone animated wallpapers. And the start menu, wow, that looks really good. That theme looked like it had some blurring. Yeah, some blur effects. Wow. It's kind of like the blurring you get in the Deepin desktop environment on Linux or in KDE Plasma. You can change your themes. You change your themes and you get more mobile animated wallpapers. It's like, it's like how you change themes on the iPhone. It's almost like you have the iPhone operating system now on top of Microsoft Windows. That's what I've always wanted. And you can connect with one touch. Wow, you're connecting. Uh, oh, I see. You're doing like your video chats and things. Oh, you touch the screen and Skype comes up. Or was that Microsoft Teams? I couldn't tell. That might have been Teams. Skype, Teams, both fantastic applications. Two of my favorites. And I really like touching the screen, too. I like putting my greasy fingers on the monitor that I'm trying to read. Automatically adapts. Input the way you want. You can type, touch, or voice. They're going to have a voice assistant. Very cool. So you're going to have a, a microphone listening to you all the time for your voice commands. It's there all the time listening to everything you do in your house. Amazing. There's a task switcher. That task switcher looked good, right? <laughs> that wasn't a bad looking task switcher. Uh, of course, you got you know your Xbox integration. And I do love gaming. Microsoft Store. Wow, you can get TikTok for free in the Microsoft Store. And it's designed for any device. Of course, every computer manufacturer on the planet is going to make Windows 11 machines. I didn't see System76 listed there, though. Man, that's a sharp-looking operating system. Welcome home, huh? Now, I don't know. It's tempting. So that was just a quick two or three minute trailer from Microsoft introducing Windows 11. I got to say from what I just saw, will I actually give it a try? Probably not. 